So now that you understand what is limiting reactant, we will try a question involving mole concept. You are given 3 moles of sodium and 3 moles of chlorine gas. Calculate the number of moles of sodium chloride form. How do you go about solving this question? First, you need to write a balanced chemical equation. 2 moles of sodium will react with 1 mole of chlorine to produce 2 moles of sodium chloride. Once you have a balanced equation, recognize the ratio between the reactants. The ratio between sodium and chlorine is 2 is to 1 from the equation. Since you are given 3 moles of sodium, let's use 3 moles of sodium to find the number of moles of chlorine that will be used. Okay, using sodium from the, from the given question, 3 moles of sodium will require 1.5 moles of chlorine. But look at how many moles of chlorine you are given. You are given 3 moles of chlorine. Since 3 moles of chlorine is given and you only need 1.5 moles of chlorine, chlorine is said to be in excess. As such, sodium will be the limiting reactant. What if you have chosen 3 moles of chlorine as your calculation? How will you go about solving from that approach? So same thing using mole ratio, number of moles of sodium is to chlorine is 2 is to 1. So instead of using sodium, I, I, if I choose chlorine, then you will find that using chlorine, 3 moles of chlorine will, pro will need 6 moles of sodium. If all chlorine is reacted, if all 3 moles of chlorine is reacted, 6 moles of sodium is needed. However, there is only 3 moles of sodium given. So what can I say about this? That there isn't enough sodium for this complete reaction. As such, I will conclude that sodium will be the limiting reactant while chlorine is still in excess. However, you do not proceed from this mole ratio for your calculation to find number of moles of sodium chloride. You need to use the mole ratio of the limiting reactant so as to proceed to calculate number of moles of sodium chloride. So now that I know that sodium is the limiting reactant, I will use the ratio between sodium and sodium chloride to help me find the number of moles of the product form. From the, ratio, from the equation, 2 moles will produce 2 moles of sodium chloride. So since sodium is a limiting reactant, which I'm given only 3 moles, I will only produce 3 moles of sodium chloride. Thus, 3 moles of sodium chloride will be formed. And that's how I solve the question. Now that you understand, please try this question on your own. 2 moles of magnesium reacts with 2 moles of hydrochloric acid. Find the number of moles of hydrogen form. Once again, you'll realise that the first thing you need to do is to write the balance equation. So before you can proceed to solve this question, you need to first write the balance equation and find the ratio between the two given reactants. Hope you are able to find the correct answer 